Yo, what's going on, you fiddlers? It's uh, Nick Daniels. I was going to go pencil pushers, but um, Nick Daniels here coming at you live yet again. And uh, we got another gambling story for you, man, because, I mean, you know, why not? It's like Gambling Tuesdays. Uh, so sit back, relax, grab something to eat, take it easy, enjoy. Um, so years ago, years ago, um, I used to live in this small little town, and we had a, we had a little pub, a little bar, okay? Dooley's is the name. It's a, it's a bit of a brand, bit of a chain. And uh, so there's this little Dooley's here, okay? And in the back back of Dooley's, um, like around a little corner, not even like a room, like it's just around a little corner, uh, there's VLT machines, right? It's, you know, like gambling machines. And uh, since it's like kind of a small town, you'd kind of recognize a few, like my old man would be in there, like you'd recognize people. And it's like, ah, there he is. <laughs> you know, there he is. He's hanging out. And um, yeah, and I always look back there and I was like, you know, I don't know. Like, I always just thought I'd fuck that up, you know, lose a bunch of money. So my first time ever actually doing one of the machines, I, uh, I meet this uh, alpha male, okay? I don't even know what this guy's name was, to be quite honest, something stupid. He was just one of these, like, meatheads, uh, which was really, really funny. Basically, like, all muscle and no brain, like, it just, like, dumb as fuck, but, you know, girls were attracted to him because he had muscle. And so anyway, I'm hanging out with this guy, and uh, whatever, it's like... I don't know, honestly, he's kind of a loser. <laughs> but so was I. And um, this guy prompts this idea, man. He's like, dude, yeah, you can hit up the VLTs. I was like, what? Like, I don't, I don't like doing that. You know, I'm not, like, I'm not, I don't want to take 20 out. And he just, like, slaps me a $20 bill. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> like, that's a lot, man. Like, that's, you're just giving me 20 bucks. And he was like, yeah, man, fucking hit us a hit, you know, try it out. You know, hit it up. So I was like, okay. You know, and that's, Honestly, from someone I barely know, um, yeah, from someone I barely know, I always think that was, like, really, like, it was really cool. Oops, sorry, the, ca- the camera's just fucked. Um, it, it was really cool, you know, and it was really nice of this guy to do that, man, because it was, like, I wasn't, like, sitting there begging the kid. I was just, like, I'll watch you. That's all I said. I was, like, I was instantly, like, down with just chilling, and he could, he could hit some slots. Um, I guess it probably just looks fucked, you know. Uh, that he's just gambling by himself and I'm just watching. Um, but yeah, anyway, so, uh, sorry, there's just people there. So we're going to slowly walk the other way. Um, <laughs> hit the 20 bucks in there. Okay. So we take a seat down. There's a couple people next to us, um, in the small little area here. Sorry. They're just, I'm just trying to understand. They're speaking another language. I can't understand it. Yeah. I got no idea what they're saying. Just some Asian lady. Um, but yeah, so anyway, like I was saying, we're going to uh, cross the road here. So I might get quiet for a quick minute because we're going to go out and we're going out in the traffic of people. Uh, the human traffic. So bear with me for one second here. Yeah, hang on. Oh, fuck, look at this. What's it doing? Oh, there we go. How you doing? Yeah, fucking thing. Okay, one sec. Okay, we're coming. Hang on. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, Jesus. Whoops, one sec. Look at that. Okay, it still looks a little bright, but we'll worry about that later. Now we're back out in civilization. Oh, Jesus. Can I edit this in lifetime? No. Fuck, it's too bright. <laughs> Look at that, it's hideous. Okay, one sec, we'll do a part two. I'm gonna, uh, just, I'm just gonna edit the brightness real quick, because this is just, it, um, I mean, it's not like terrible. It's just like, it's not ideal. Nah, fuck it, we'll leave it, we'll leave it. It looks okay, looks manageable. You guys can see what's going on. Um, yeah, so anyway, like I was saying, um, and again, I, <laughs> God, look at that. Okay, well, yeah, we'll do a part two. One sec. Okay, what's going on? Part two. Um, I just tried a part two, and I put it on auto, and I basically you just couldn't see me. <laughs> it's just too dark. So anyway, where I was leaving off, man, so I put the, I slot the 20 in there, and uh, I forget exactly what game that it was called, but there's this there's a game that's really, really fun and really cool um, where you got to, like, obviously you line up, you know, items, and you get rows and whatnot. Typical VLT machine, right? Um, but the way this one worked was really interesting that it had a, the bonus was what was cool. 
So typically when you get a bonus in a, in a VLT, uh, it works in a certain, it, they usually work in the same way that you'll get like free spins. Um, so like, you know, the next 10 spins you do are free and then you just win a bunch of money. Um, or, you know, you get like a set amount of money or whatever, um, something like that, right? Or you get a chance at something bigger, um, which is usually pretty good, right? Usually. Not always. Usually. Um, so I played this game, and the bonus actually was really, really cool That in the fact that you had to match, um, like, hidden tiles. So you had to, like, click under the tiles, and you, if you got three of a value, you got that value. So, for example, I was on a really low bid, and uh, a value came up of $87, right? So obviously if I was on the highest bid, you know, we were talking probably, like, several hundred dollars, right? And I matched three of them up, and sure enough, I won, like, fucking... I walked out of there out of the 20 with like 90 bucks, right? Plus, um, right? So it was like, you know, it was it was awesome, right? It was incredible. So I tell Buddy about this because obviously he's sitting right next to me and I'm freaking out. And actually it was funny that uh, a woman got pissed off and she like shushed me or something because I won money, right? And obviously she was like blowing her paycheck away. So anyway, I was stoked. Oh, anyway, I was, you know, over the moon. And uh, I, I was like, all right, here you go, man. Like, I'm, I cashed out. I was like, yeah, here you go. And he was like, no, man, you keep it. Like, you won that. And obviously, he did really well, too. He ended up winning, uh, like, 300-something dollars, right? And I was actually, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie. I was a little jealous. Um, that's a lot of fucking money, right? Like, that's a lot to me, right? That's 300-something dollars. So he walked in there. Apparently, he had, like, already a couple hundred dollars. Uh, like, I think he brought, like, $400, like, ready to gamble. And he walked out with seven, obviously, because he had, like, the extra three. It was, like, three, three fifty. So, the sad story, the sad part of this story um, is he didn't stop when this happened. Um, so, we went, well, we both left. And he actually returned. Okay? So, he returned the next day uh, without telling me, which, I mean, I don't care. I mean, I barely know the guy. But he returned without telling me. Like, it wasn't like, hey, man, you want to come down again? He just went on his own. He was like, yeah, fuck it. And obviously, um, it's really rather unfortunate because he was on this high, right? He was on the win high. Uh, and I think that happens to a lot of people. I'm, not, I'm no gambling expert. But, I mean, I think that happens to a lot of people. You get this win, you know, and you kind of feel a little invincible, right? And you don't just take the win and leave. Um, so what he did, though, is he came back. And he lost. He lost everything. He lost, like, the extra 400 he had, and he lost what he won uh, from the night before, you know. And I talked to someone about it, and it was a real shame because, like, the guy, like, I mean, I don't know if he was, like, devastated. I don't remember even asking him about it. But I was shocked. Like, I was like, why on earth would you, like, you know, come back? Like, take that win and get out, you know. I'm not saying, like, never come back. I think everything's good in moderation. Um, you know, I think I've said this before on the channel, but I mean, like, yeah, I don't think necessarily there's anything necessarily wrong with a little gambling here or there. You know, it's a fun little thing to do and, you know, whatnot. But, um, yeah, like, you got to keep in mind the house wins, right? Especially if you hit, like, machines, right? If you, if you play, like, you play some Texas Hold'em, uh, that's another story. I mean, fuck, that's a sport <laughs> at this point. You know, that's a profession. Um... Sorry, we got fucking, we got families coming up here. Um, but yeah, so like if you, if you play that, I mean, oh, sorry, we'll adjust the camera here. Yeah, if you play that, like I understand, like I totally get that. But like when Buddy came back, like it was, it's just so unfortunate that, you know, that would be the case. And that, and it's the thing, I think it's this false, this falsehood that people get themselves believing that, um, Jesus Christ, kids, um, let's fucking choke them out. But yeah, people get this false sense of, um, of this win, you know, and, and, and it's, and it's really sad. It's disappointing because like people get that taste of it and they just stay there. They stay hooked. And I've gambled before. Like I, you know, this is not my first time. I mean, a little bit. I'm not, I'm no, I'm no gambler. Like, I mean, in, in a sense that like what I would define as like a gambler or someone who probably actually goes kind of often, um, you know, for me, like if I'm lucky, it's once a year, you know, that I might walk in with 20 bucks to a casino, like, you know, and that's it, right? 20 bucks is 20 bucks, it's gone. Um, which, as you probably know, goes very fast in a casino. Um, but yeah, like, I think it's always been that. I think it's always been this, like, false sense of, like, I'm going to win, 
and people and it's also it's really bad because that's why they do like I, I'm, I'm I'm not a fucking psychologist right I'm just I'm just kind of guessing here but I'm I would have to guess um that is why people do like the blinking lights you know and shit right because that's that's the allure right that's that's the thing that's like oh shit that looks like I could win because you see the guy next to you and the thing's going you know dee 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 and it's freaking out, right? And that's why everybody's looking and the lights are flashing. And he's won like 200 bucks, right? Uh, but there's people that'll go sit in there and they, they come out with a lot of money, you know. Um, and, you know, you play, your, you play your luck, man. You play your luck when you either, when you sit at the table or you hit the slots. You know, either one you do, you play your luck. And, yeah, it's a, it's a crazy time. You know, it's funny, like, these are, these are little funny stories. But, like, when this happened, like, this was a lot, like, this was quite a while ago. Like, this is probably, like, eight years ago um, that this had happened. And, you know, and it was funny because I still had that urge to walk out uh, when I won money. But I also, but the, the overwhelming urge is to keep playing. Like, I had that. It was, like, keep playing. And uh, I remember seeing a guy, we'll wrap it up here because I'm just kind of rambling. We, uh, I, the, I was with a guy one time who did the exact same thing. He, you know, came in there with 20 bucks all the time, right? And he'd, uh, he'd just pump away 20 and just hope for the best. And one of them, he said he was up to like $40, like very minimal, you know, like, I mean, as far as he's concerned, he's doubled his money, but he's up to 40 bucks. And, uh, yeah, so he's up to 40, he's up $20 and, uh, he played it. He played it. He kept playing it. And what happened is it got away from him, right? Which is a, a big culprit, um, in these situations, right? Where people, they don't, they don't get that, right? And they don't see that. They, maybe they do too. And they just, they can't get away from it, right? And, uh, yeah, he, I, he told me, like, the next day when this happened. And he was like, man, I couldn't, he's like, I couldn't get away from it, right? And he's like, I, I, I told myself I'd play the 20, you know, like, play the little bit that was left. Sorry, the camera's going all fucking askew. Um, yeah, I'd play the little bit left. And then next thing you know, he's like, well, out 40 bucks. Anyway, family up here, we're going to fuck off. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Gambling, Nick Daniels. Yo, thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, if you want to check out my Instagram here, I do a little bit of photography on the side. Uh, be sure to check it out, nickdaniel 65 uh, instagramcom uh, You can feel free to message me on there if you got any video ideas. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Take it easy. Cheers.